Hey guys, it's Mike RC, CEO of Loud Rumor, a lead generation company for fitness studios. And in this video, we're gonna talk about three social media trends your fitness studio needs to follow in 2018. All right, now if you're watching this video, you may be watching it on Facebook or on YouTube, or the video may be embedded in our blog. If you're not on our blog watching it, definitely check it out as there's way more stats and information to support everything I talk about in this video, and you can check it out here. All right, so the very first trend for 2018 is something you may have already started doing in 2017 as it's become extremely popular, and that's Instagram stories. In fact, over 300 million Instagram users, which is more than half of its total users, use Instagram stories. Now, the really great thing about Instagram stories is it allows you to kind of tell the behind the scenes of your entire day, what it's like at your fitness studio when you're in between classes, what it's like when you're trying new classes that maybe you haven't done before, or when you get new things come in like supplements or new drinks and you're all really excited about it and you can't wait to start selling it at your studio and the reasons why. You could also do really great things like using polls where you can ask people a question and give them a yes or no option. For example, should we start running classes on Saturdays? Yes or no? And let people choose and you can use that data to start deciding on what you should start doing inside your business. You could also do two other cool things that can drive more traffic to your stories, which is number one, add locations within your stories. And so let's say you're a fitness studio in Scottsdale, Arizona, you put in your location saying that you're at that fitness studio and anyone that's searching places in Scottsdale can actually find your story. You can do the same thing with hashtags where anybody searching a particular hashtag could actually find your story if they're searching for those hashtags. So Instagram stories is one of those things that has become really, really popular. Snapchat kind of paved the way for this style of uh, social media, but because there was so much uh, audience already on Instagram for many businesses, and your business may have already had quite a few followers already, it just made it the easier platform to really stay consistent with as opposed to Snapchat. So definitely get into Instagram stories in 2018 as it's gonna get bigger and bigger and they're adding new features every day. All right, so the very next one is Messenger chatbots. This is something that I think most people have heard, but most people have not implemented. Now, Facebook Messenger has much higher open rates than email, so that's one main reason to get more involved in it. But it could also save your staff time while also automatically providing really great customer service and answering questions like hours of operation or location or offers or anything like that. Now, I don't want you to think that this just means there's a bunch of robots at the computer doing the work for you. because there is an option where they can choose to chat with a real person. But this allows you to be able to answer the basic questions that you probably answer all day every day anyway, without you having to take up you or your staff's time and be able to get them the answers immediately instead of making them wait, which isn't a great experience for them either. So there are over 100,000 chatbots set up already and it's growing every day. It's getting more and more popular and I suggest you take a look at it too. And the last one is live streaming video, but it's become so much more evolved than it has in the last year. So now you can actually do Facebook Live with multiple people. And you could add in really cool filters while you're going live. And you could even upload pre-recorded videos to a live stream in order to make sure that you're putting out your best work. So make sure that you start getting involved with live so you can stay ahead of all the things that they're adding as it's getting better and better as you're realizing that people really like engaging with live. It's a great way for you to be able to share content while also getting feedback as people can leave comments while you're live and interact and provide the feedback that specifically is interesting to the people watching right there and then. So get more involved with Facebook Live. Instagram Live also has one that's becoming very popular too. And uh, other than that, those are the three social media trends you need to be following for 2018.